Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, this is a general reading for the collective. So um, let's get into this and see what's happening. What is the energy for the collective? I feel like you're finding out somebody you may have been having passionate communication with somebody. You're getting some clarity about someone taking that leap to communicate with somebody passionately. So somebody may be talking to a third party. Let's get into this. All 12 signs. <clears throat> you're dealing with an Aries. Someone's um, wish fulfillment. So somebody's offering somebody their wish fulfillment as an offer of wish fulfillment. If you're dealing with a Taurus, that somebody's drama is going to come to an end. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini, you may be wishing for an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Cancer's having a new beginning of love and abundance with an Emperor. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody is trapped in their head waiting. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo's trying to hold back from an option. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody's not speaking the harsh truth. Somebody's not telling you something that they know is true. That's, that's bad. They're keeping it to themselves. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone's at a crossroads. Um, Scorpio, you may be at a crossroads about a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody's been working on something for a long time. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody's watching. Somebody sees the regret or sees somebody's grieving. Somebody sees the regret or sees somebody grieving. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. They're maybe in love with their wife or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's obsessed with burden. Okay, so... Let's get into this. I feel like someone's getting clarity about somebody taking that leap towards passionate communication. I feel like it could be with a third party, but let's see what's happening. You never know what happened in the past. What happened in the past? Okay, so somebody here may be traveling towards somebody, manifesting, offering their cup towards somebody, and somebody's kind of guarded and defensive moving on, and it's been a long time coming. So you may have found out that somebody was traveling towards somebody. Ten of Pentacles. Someone's trying to move towards something long-term and committed, but somebody here is manifesting somebody from the past. Wanting to offer their cup in a four of wands relationship. Someone's very guarded and defensive about their wish fulfillment. and the But the emperor is moving on. It's been a long time coming for this new beginning. So you know what? You might find out that somebody is passionately communicating to the emperor. Now, if this is a couple that's meant to be together, that's that's why that's coming up. So let's see what's happening in the here and now. me some clarity and guidance what's happening in the here and now see the emperor is cutting somebody out and moving away from somebody Right? So they're moving on and they're cutting somebody out and this person's going to be left heartbroken. 
you could be trying to do magic here because they're heartbroken manifesting the devil on the on the um on the pre emperor on the empress there see the emperor is the one moving on and whoever they're moving on from is pissed off and they're going to be doing black magic on the empress here right because they took that leap they took that leap to communicate and because they took that leap to communicate somebody's been cut out right and now this person's heartbroken trapped in their head and they're manifesting judgment they're manifesting judgment with the devil right for mind games and manipulation to win at all costs, playing mind games and manipulation here against this empress here. They want deception. They want deception against the empress. Uh, they want they want this empress to pay for them being, yeah. They want the deception. They want them discontent, unhappy, right? And walking away. But in divine timing, yeah, this is gonna close out, right? Divine timing's here. There's no need for stress and worry or not uh, worrying at night, staying up all night, worrying about anything because it's going to come to an end, right? Free Empress is going to here recover. They're going to recover. So whatever this person's casting at this person because the emperor walked away from them and started communicating with the person that they're meant to be with, um, somebody got pissed off and they want revenge. So in the outcome, what's happening in the near future? What's happening in the near future? What's happening in the near future here? Somebody from the past rushing towards somebody. Somebody's rushing towards somebody from their past. Somebody hears back and forth, King of Swords, mastering their emotions about how to get even, how to how to have the drama, how to bring the drama, mastering their emotions for drama. A lot of strife, jealousy, competition, drama here. Because the Emperor moved on to the Empress, right? Passionate communication to somebody from the past. Rushing in, rushing in to communicate with their with their twin is causing a tower moment for somebody and now somebody here is juggling manifesting moving on there, somebody's back and forth about manifesting moving forward moving forward king of swords being strategic about what they want they want their stuff and they want to protect it right they're hoping there's no equal give and take in love here they hope that this person doesn't reciprocate this emperor's love, right? The king of swords wish fulfillment is very guarded, very guarded, um, hoping there's no, no equal give and take in love. Mastering their emotion for burden, right? They want to heal with their person, but it's ending, right? So someone's mastering their emotion about the burden, trying to heal a relationship, but it's over. It's over. The Empress is headed out towards the Emperor. So this person's very angry. They're jealous. They're wanting to cause harm with that Five of Wands energy. They're jealous. They're saying that you're going to regret walking away from me, right? So there's they're emotionally communicating. You're going to regret um, walking away from me. Um, they're trying to bind somebody. It's almost like there's someone's very trapped in their head, needing strength, um, ha having sleepless nights, waiting. What are they waiting for? Okay. So there was an offer or apologizing. There was an offer. Their wish was offered to them. The person, the empress, their wish was offered to them, right? The one that they've been daydreaming about this, their wish was offered to them. What they were daydreaming about the truth is they really want to be with their 10 of cups. So they are cutting out somebody. It's breaking their heart. It's breaking the heart, making a head over heart decision to cut somebody out broken hearted. 
over their judgment, queen of swords, someone's being strategic, but they're, they're, they have to work on a victory here. They're working on a victory. This is like, they're meant to do this, right? Somebody um, is look, watching, looking back at the past, third party communicating, trying to, okay, they're trying to block. Okay, that's, I don't want to take the whole deck, but I feel like somebody here is watching, somebody sees this, and they're looking back at the past, third party energy, and them communicating. The communication is blocked with the Queen of Wands. I almost feel like the person that's fight wanting to fight the emperor on this or the one who's trying to cause the chaos or trying to attack the empress, whatever this is, whoever's trying to attack the empress because the emperor walked away. So in this, in this instance, you have an emperor walking away from somebody and them getting pissed off at the empress. But the empress is also walking away from somebody. And the person's getting angry here too and saying that you're going to regret walking away from me. But it's almost like they're, they were trying to block a queen of wands. Um, somebody's overcoming an obstacle or blocking. I feel like they're blocking this queen of wands. They're blocking the queen of wands. Looking back at past mistakes here. So you have somebody watching or spying. Looking back at the past, the seeds are planting, communicating with a third party, and then blocking the Queen of Wands. Okay, so what I'm feeling like is the person that's fighting, like I said before, the Emperor left somebody for the Empress. Then the, this person wanted to attack the Empress because the Emperor walked away from the Karmic for the Empress. Then in this case, it looks like the Empress is walking away from somebody as well. And it's almost like that person who they wa they're walking away with was already communicating with somebody else. And now they're blocking the Queen of Wands. The third party was communicating with somebody else. And now they're blocking this Queen of Wands. So you got, you got a whole ish show going on here. Both of the emperor and the empress are walking away from their karmics at the same time. But guys, if this is a divine soulmate, it's going to happen that way. If these relationships, but I feel like the one that the empress was with was also already communicating with somebody else. And now they're trying to block them. So you got a whole, you got a whole show going on here. So guys, if that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you all have a wonderful week.